rockin' with that chest, not Jeffers TV, cake ass. Now, Rich. Little Bill, showin' 20s on Pirelli skills. Got your muscles dilated like the mixed fields. No time to stop, focus only on the meal. Boy Jeezy, man, decided go ahead and divorce his old wife, Jeannie Ma. Jeannie Ma, whatever her name is. Uh, we really don't know the reason yet, even though she did come out with an interview some time back talking about how she got a bad temper and nobody never checked her on this shit uh, and all this whole type of shit. So what that tell me is that for her to say that she had a bad temper and nobody ever checked her, that must mean that she be talking, she be talking real fly to her dudes. Like, like when she get mad, she might be the type to call you a bitch or, you know what I'm saying? Hit you below the bill, say little fucked up shit about you. You know what I'm saying? And then if you never heard her talk to you like that, you look at her like, well, I mean, one time I was, um, uh, I was at a partner of mine house or whatever. And, uh, we was chilling. You know, his baby mama come through now. You know, at this time, my partner really wasn't doing that good. Now, my partner, he known for having bread money. You know what I'm saying? He got a big ass house, big everything. You know what I'm saying? But at this point in time, he was kind of down a little bit. So, uh, she come through that motherfucker, man, and she taking advantage of that, of that situation that he down. You know what I'm saying? She calling them bitch ass niggas, broke ass niggas. I'm talking about she screaming, yelling, top of her lungs, this, that, and the other. I'm looking like, I'm thinking it's going to be a domestic violence situation. Because I, I know that, you know, we not used to being talked to like that. You know what I'm saying? And um, that can trigger a motherfucker. When you not used to a person talking shit to you, and then all of a sudden, boom, they hit you with it, uh, a tornado with that shit, sometimes that make you slap shit out of a motherfucker. Or it'll make because the level of disrespect fucks you up so much. Cause man, I done been around killers, robbers, everything that haven't disrespected me. So for for anybody to do that, it would set off a trigger, you know what I'm saying? So the girl came through, did all that shit, man, you know what I'm saying? Dropped the kids off, all that shit to her. So after she left, I looked at him, I said, hey bro. You gotta leave that girl alone, dog. You know what I'm saying? You need to quit fucking with her. I know that's your baby mama, but you don't need to be having no sex with her. You don't need to be letting her come to your house. You don't need to be fucking with her at all, bro, because that situation not gonna end good. With her talking to you crazy like that, one of y'all gonna go to jail. One of y'all gonna get killed or something. Cause that shit, I, I can't, I can't see you continuing to subject yourself to that shit, bro. Like, you got to leave this girl alone. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what it was with Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? I hear a lot of people saying that she was blindsided by that. You know, because they had just went on an anniversary trip, came back, and he divorced after that. But her mouth, though. See, Jeezy, Jeezy ain't used to being disrespected like that. You know what I'm saying? The only nigga that ever disrespected Jeezy was Gucci, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... And you see what happened. He did, or supposedly said somebody tried to knock his head off. So, um, I don't believe that Jesus used to being talked to crazy or he not used to dealing with a female that has a temper. That, that temper gonna cause her to treat you like shit if she really got a temper like that. So, it probably happened one time too many. Jesus like, you know what, fuck that shit. Because I ain't finna subject myself to be going to jail because I done slapped shit out of her or whatever. So therefore, I'ma just remove myself from the situation. Before I ever fight or have any kind of altercation with a female, I just remove myself from the situation. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's just what, what's going on with Jeezy, bro. He just removing himself from the situation. And like, even though they just came went on the anniversary trip, she might have went off on him on the anniversary trip. And he like, man, you know what, bro? I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do it. So I think that's what happened, man. Y'all get down in the comments, man. Let me know if y'all think that's a valid point. Or if y'all know more information about the situation, man. Uh, y'all like the video? Subscribe to the channel. Share the video, man. OGBC, Chestnut Checkers, Move Slow, Think Fast for Shizzle.